Hey game lovers, I'm Steve Nash. And I'm Felicia, and this is our review of Magic Labyrinth. I wonder if David Bowie's in this one. Probably. Is David... David Bowie's not Iggy Stardust? Is no, Iggy but that was a reference to an 80s movie called Labyrinth. Remember that? <laughs> no, yeah. I was born in the 80s. Right. Late but... 80s. Apparently, it's not the only thing you're late on. In Magic Labyrinth, players are trying to find magical items inside a maze of invisible walls. In the box, you'll find four player pawns of different colors and have a magnetic base to them, four metal balls, which are also magnetically charged, a board which will form the maze, wooden walls which are used to create the maze, tokens with images that match a location in the maze, a board representing the labyrinth and a cloth bag for random drawing. The players to first collect five magical items wins the game. Here's how to set up the game. Place wooden walls into the board which forms the maze. Make sure that all the squares can be assessed by all players. Once this is done, place it in the box and then place the top board above that. Spin the box so that everyone is confused and has no idea what the wooden walls look like underneath. Randomly draw a token from the bag and place it on the same spot on the board. Each player now chooses a corner as their starting location for the game. Place your pawn there with the metal ball under the board. They should magnetically connect through the board. You're now ready to start playing. Here's what a player's turn will look like. First you'll roll to see how many spots you can move. The die only has 1 to 4 on it. No 5s and no 6s. Next you move your pawn through the spaces of the maze. When crossing a wall you must move your pawn quickly. If your ball did not fall you can keep moving. If your ball does fall you must pick it up from under the board and place your pawn at your starting location. This will end your turn. Try to remember where the imaginary walls are so you don't cross there again. When a player makes it to an item, he picks it up and draws a new one from the bag. Players will do this until one of them collected five items. That player wins the game. It's an easy, fast-paced game with lots of laughter and surprises. It's great for the whole family, and you can even make the maze easier for young players by removing some of the walls. The game is innovative and fun. It's a great memory game as well. We had some good times playing this game, but it loses replay value for older players. You'll get tired of it after four or five games in a row. Even though there are short games, you have to rebuild the maze every time. The artwork is cute and the rulebook is great. It's an awesome family game and we're giving it an 8.5 out of 10.